Well, I knew of her because even when I was in high school, I knew she was a great golfer. And I got to tell you, I was smitten. And I truly did come on too strong. So with promptly within two weeks, she dropped me. <laughs> They were lovebirds <laughs> for all 25 years. Maureen was so beautiful. My best memories with her were going into the backyard and digging up worms in Minnesota and, and going out that afternoon uh, sunny fishing, you know, and then the next weekend uh, her coaching my Little League baseball team. Uh, this stomach doctor of some sort thought it was a hernia, and I kind of laughed. I said, you know, it's a hernia, that's the least of our worries. And they did a CAT scan, and she went to meet with the surgeon to review the CAT scan, and right away when he saw it, he called Mike Janicek, Dr. Janicek. Uh, Maureen had uh, stage three ovarian cancer. It was a downhill spiral from there. Uh, the day before Mother's Day, she came home to die. But the reality is, sometimes we just have to use the tragedies to try to prevent further ones and tell the story and get it out. For about 10% of women who will get ovarian cancer, uh, these cases are caused by an inherited genetic mutation. Uh, this is uh, commonly called BRCA or BRCA, and it doesn't sound like a very big number until it's your sister, until it's your mother, until it's your daughter, until it's you. The, the tragedy is not only that she got the cancer, but it potentially was preventable. And had we known Maureen was BRCA2 positive, there would have been, I, there's no doubt in my mind, Maureen would have been very proactive with her health care. And I believe ovarian cancer would have been avoided with my Maureen. If we had known that she had this mutation, she'd still be around. So we've always understood that cancer may be hereditary. We've seen it in families. But for the first time uh, in our generation, we're now actually able to pinpoint what misspelling in our genetic code causes that cancer. I mean, once you have that BRCA mutation in your family, there's a 50-50 chance that you will be BRCA positive. And I think that's exactly how it worked out in her immediate family. This test has been around since 1994, and there isn't a week that doesn't go by where I see another tragedy or another missed opportunity. I lost my mom when she was 38. When I, then I was diagnosed with breast cancer at 35. The doctors there were the first to bring up getting genetically tested. So I did, and that's when I found out. I did have the BRCA1 mutation. But each time I went back for my checkup, they brought it up again about removing my ovaries. It was, it was something my doctor was really adamant about, but I wanted to get pregnant. I wanted to have a child. Then at 39, I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. Once you have ovarian cancer, uh, it, it becomes a process of basically working every day to stay alive. We can make a dramatic difference now, and all it takes is some awareness, a blood test, and acting on the information properly. Smart place down here, Falcons! Get the board, board! Can you control that you have the gene? No. I mean, you're kind of dealt that hand. But you have the option then to decide what you want to do about it. All right, let's set it up down here, Falcons! I was 36 when I was diagnosed with breast cancer that, that then later found out that I had the BRCA2 gene and then since had a full hysterectomy so that it didn't carry into my ovaries. So, yeah, now that I've had the full hysterectomy, there's less than 1% chance of getting ovarian cancer. That's next to nothing. Well, ovarian cancer is called the silent killer because it can sneak up on women uh, without many symptoms. The good news about this is that this is an early warning sign that the rest of us don't have. It's a tool for us to use and we need to use it. 
We have the ability to do a blood test that can save lives, so why not do it? If I would have listened to the doctors, I think I would be mentally in a better place, physically in a better place, financially in a better place. Go get tested, yeah, for yourself, because of course, I care for your health, but do it for your family. The, it's the greatest gift that a woman could give her family is the knowledge that could save their lives and for her to protect herself from a disease that is just so hard to control. And for whatever reason, if they you know, discover they're BRCA2 positive and they don't want to take actions, that's their choice. But at least now they have a choice. My mother is in a great place right now. I'm so confident in that. We aren't. We suffer. every day and so we have made it our kind of life mission to educate to avoid the pain and suffering that she endured and that we continue to endure every day